I'm standing in front of the governor's office here at, in downtown Columbus at the State House. If you haven't been down to this beautiful capital, come on down and let's check it out. If you come in on the third street or east side of the building, you'll actually start in the basement area, which is where we are today. And you'll be greeted by this reader board that will tell you everything that's going on in the building. The Ohio State House, completed in 1861, is one of America's finest examples of Greek Revival architecture and is one of the oldest working state houses in the United States. This is what the Ohio State Fairgrounds look like around 1900. Now they've only been here since 1884. Prior to that, it was at Franklin Park on the east side of Columbus. Lincoln's funeral procession wound through the State House in 1865, and there's a few items from those days for you to check out. If you haven't wandered back to the Ohio State House Museum there in the basement, you're missing out on a real treat. There's plenty of things to see and do back here. Uh, from old voting machines to old buttons and hats and lots of neat things to check out. Now after you spend some time in the basement, it's time to go upstairs. You have to go up a flight of steps or the elevator to get to the rotunda. The State House is situated on a 10-acre parcel of land. The initial design was arrived at through a design competition. Construction actively began on July 4, 1839 with the ceremonial laying of the cornerstone. The structure would be completed much later in 1861. Prison labor from the Ohio Penitentiary was used to construct the foundation and ground floors of the building. The limestone was taken from a quarry on the west bank of the Scioto River. The stone of the State House Foundation is more than 18 feet deep. During the course of the State House's construction, 22 years would pass, but it would not be a period of non-stop work. Construction would cease during the harsh winter months, and as the project would exceed its budget, there would be often halts in construction as new funding was arranged. The longest gap in construction came about when the legislation making Columbus the state capital was due to expire. There was an eight-year lapse in the building of the State House from 1840 to 1848. The completed basement and foundations were actually filled in with soil and the Capitol Square was used as a pasture. The State House was open to legislators and the public in 1857 when the House and Senate began meeting in their respective chambers, and most of the executive offices were occupied. It was completed in 1861.
I happen to be looking at the house side of the Capitol building. Now, if you go up those stairs on the left side, there's a little door. And if you go up those particular stairs, you're actually in a gallery where you can oversee the house events. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget to subscribe.